Hey guys, you're watching Vida Data TV. Some months ago I bought a 3D printer for my reloading bench and I use this device very often. The only downside is that I am limited in printing space. After my last project, the 3D bullet feeder, I could see that this is the very maximum of what I'm capable of uh, using with my uh, existing 3D printer. So I can't print larger objects. But I wish I could, because I would like to print a case feeder, for example. And because of this, I was very happy when GearBest.com sent me an email some weeks ago and offered me to test the new Alphawise U20 for free. It's a large 3D printer with a printing space of 300mm uh, by 300mm and up to 400mm in height. And I was very happy and very exciting, and that's what this video here is about. GearBest.com sends this 3D printer for free, and they give a uh, discount code for you. So if you use the affiliate link in my video description and my discount code from GearBest.com, which is GB minus dollar twenty off, then you save twenty dollars uh, when buying this Alphawise U20. Because of this and the German law, you can see that this year is marked as commercial spot. With that all out of the way, let's start with the Alphawise U20. Hope you like it. The Alphawise U20 comes very well packed and shipping was super fast. And if you live in Europe, I would highly recommend using priority line as shipping method, because with this you don't have to pay any more taxes, everything is done. So the money you have to pay at geobest.com is the only money you have to pay for your 3D printer. The Alphawise U20 comes pre-assembled. There are three main components. Two of them both together are for the frame. And there is a control box you have to connect. Nothing special. Maybe you have to leveling your heating bed and maybe there are some fine adjusting, but nothing you have to worry about. Everything comes with the whole package. There is a manual as well and many other parts. There is a filament, a spool holder and all the tools you need for your first 3D printing job. And of course there is a micro SD card as well. On this micro SD card you can find the manual. You can find a slicer program which is Cura in this uh, particular case. And yeah, everything is there so you can start printing. Personally I would prefer the display in front of the control box, not on top. But this is only a personal thing and no big deal. The software is very easy to understand and very easy to operate, so no rocket science here. You can start printing very fast. In this case, a lead inert range. And yeah, you can hear the fan, but I think this is normally for a factory 3D printer. My Anycubic E3 Mega is not that much quieter than the otherwise U20. I think the extruder here needs a little bit more power. So after this video, I would increase the voltage at the main board. And I think with this, the filament flow is a better one. And after a short while, there is the lead dynard range, which I found on thingiverse.com. Uh, this year is only a small part and only for this video here. The Alphawise U20 is here at my workbench for the large projects in future. 
And if you would like to see a little bit more, I did some test printing uh, two weeks ago. And this is the result. The uh, 3D prints look very good, really good. And some of them are printed with the E3 Mega as well. So I can compare them and they are on par. So quality from the AlphaWise U20 is very good. Okay guys, and this was my short video about the Alpha YCU20 from GeoBest.com. If you are interested in this great printer here, you can find a link in the video description. And if you use the discount code GB-$20 off, you'll save $20. I think for the money you have to spend for this printer, you can't go wrong. 30 by 30 and up to 40 and high, and that for this price, it's a pretty good buy. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video here. If so, please leave a thumb up. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about this printer here, what you think about this video here. And maybe if you use this printer here, you can share your experience as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you very much for taking the time watching my video. Hope I see you next at Vida Lava TV.